Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog before the sequel. Uh, this one's actually starting a little bit before I actually get back into the game, because I have figured out, thanks to the person, once again, who asked me to play the game, helped me figure out what was wrong with everything. Like, I couldn't get the cutscenes to work and it crashed. Yeah. So, I will try to see if there's cutscenes in these levels real quick. I'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back fully. Those were all the cutscenes in the game. There is a useful cheat that I did to get through those much quicker than I would have otherwise. And that was simply that I pressed U and actually skips the level. I will not be doing that of course for these, but you know, it was useful to- Ow, right. Those turtles use Hadouken on you. Hadouken. I didn't say Hadouken. Whatever, I'm, I'm a weeboo piece of shit. <laughs> no, seriously. Um. Hadouken is a move from Street Fighter, as most people already know, but, you know, if any of you somehow didn't, I mean, that's useful knowledge. Now you know what that's from. <laughs> um, essentially, this is a really colorful and pretty stage that is, uh, well, interesting as Tails. It's kind of a... it, it is a much, much more enclosed, uh, space compared to Tails' previous stages. Previous stages? I meant stage. Ow. Uh, things get harder as you get through these different uh, acts of this stage, and as you can see, I'm probably not going to be doing very well because I'm already having issues. Come on. Let's see if I can get to 100 coin rings. I almost said coins. Rings. Eh, whatever. I, though I do have to focus on time more than anything, because uh, thanks to the, the wonderful Sun Runamon, who, you know... Okay. Uh... The person who advised me to play this game to begin with, I found out there are different endings to this game, and it actually is dependent on your time. So, I'm gonna have to be focusing on getting through these as fast as I can. 
I feel like I'm going backwards. Let's try hitting this way. Am I clipping? I'm kind of clipping out of the area there. Am I going the wrong way? I have no idea which way to go. This is the way I came from. There's some... Oh yeah, there is. Okay. I skipped over that, I guess. Oh, no. Okay, why can't I go up? Okay, let's go down. And now start trying to go up. There we go, pushes me up. I think the way, the way these crystals works is it kind of guides me to where it wants me to go. So I should be actually keeping on level with it, and it will guide me wherever it wants me to go. Which isn't a bad thing. The problem is it kind of limits what I can do. Oh, okay, I guess those ones were to prevent me from getting a 1-up there. It didn't really work, though, because I kind of cheesed it. Ooh, that could have been bad. And get pulled off screen. One complete. Things get much more jungly now. Kind of. Reminds me of uh, Super Meat Boy in a way. Less gore, more. Ow! Ah! More saw blades, as you can tell. Ow! And there's the death. Tell what is solid here and what isn't. There. Ooh. Ah. This is interesting. I wonder if I can bounce this off screen. I feel like that would cause some glitches as that's not supposed to travel across the screen like that. That'd be interesting though. Um oh, come on. What the, what the heck? Whatever, I'm gonna focus on speeding through this. Because I'm just losing lives trying to do this. Try to cheat a little bit less. Ow. have to do with the oh come on wait was that please tell me that was the life yes it was anything else up here nothing from the looks of it I'm just gonna drop down Or I could be completely mistaken, and that was actually the way I needed to go. Yeah, it was. Of course it was. Uh, is that about to chop the tree off? Oh, okay, this is pretty cool. It's just... Ow. Well, let me guess, there's going to be a life hidden here somewhere.
No? Not from my saw, at least. Come on, no more cheap tricks with the hot ends. I hit him. Let's see. Above this tree is absolutely nothing. Saw blades. Uh. Okay, I'm done with that one. That one kind of sucks, in my opinion. Saw blades everywhere, which is bigger issue than me. Bigger issue than me. Bigger issue to me than the enemies. I have more issues with uh, stage hazards. What's not? What is that? An aesthetic thing, apparently. I do have to question why the name Lost Levels, though. Because, honestly, it doesn't seem like... I don't recognize any of these, so are these actually based on something from the original Sonic games? Like, anything cut from the game, or are these just levels they would have loved to have seen these kind of styles in. I don't know much about the Sonic game, sadly. Ah! Hmm. Should have seen that coming. I'm sadly not familiar with the 2D Sonic games. As I mentioned before, my childhood was sadness when it came to Sonic. Not sadness that I didn't have Sonic in my life. Sadness because I was never good at Sonic. Alright, well that worked out. Ah, and that did not because those are fireballs. Uh, let's run across here. Whatever you say, dude. I want some pound cake too. I thought it was. I was pretty sure you're supposed to run across the ceiling whenever you start going that fast. I almost fell in a pit of death. And... Bonus stage! Let's go! Odd. The special stages are interesting. They allow you to get a bunch of rings and, as such, get one-ups if you're good enough to do so. Issue is that it seems like they just kind of put them willy-nilly. Like... There's like these. You're on the top, you're screwed, you can't get down. You're on the bottom, you can easily jump up. You're in the middle, you're getting the most rings. What's the point to have them both on top and bottom? Why not just miss out on some? Or have them on both paths? 154. Got a life. But I also got a boss fight to take care of so I could easily lose this. Uh... 
Oh. Uh, I, oh right, yeah, it's this. Ow. I forgot. It's very reminiscent of my time in Cave Story. And I can't do anything about that because I can't see it off the screen. Come on, need to run a bit further than that. Like that. Thank you, single ring, for saving my life. Ow. The reason I say this is very Cave Story is because if you saw the final, final, final episode of Cave Story, you might remember the secret hidden boss, who is kind of a jerk, and he had many spinning things where I had to get on platforms and try to hit him. There we go. Oh no, oh no, oh no. There we go. He's just not this nice to give me rings. Well, the cave story one wasn't. Ah, crap. There we go. Done. Boss complete. 